Texture projection is a powerful tool for creating detailed and realistic 3D renders in Blender. By using this method, you can accurately map textures onto your building models. It allows you to precisely control how textures are applied to objects, giving you the flexibility to create unique and visually stunning 3D renders. In this video, I'll be starting a 3D modeling series using this method in Blender, and I'll be naming it as Blender Texture Projection Series. As we go along, I'll share you some tips that I have learned using this method. So let's now dive in. If you want to follow along, you can download the project file in the description. First, let's add our images plane. Press R, X, then 90 to rotate the plane. Press 1 key to go into front angle, then move the plane above the red line. Go into viewport shading, then change the color type into texture. Now, start adding loop cuts on the high contrast areas like door edges, windows, frames, object outlines. To avoid this mesh distortion issues when dragging edge loops, make sure to enable correct face attributes. Continue adding edge loops on the contrasty area of the image. This process takes some time, so be patient. Good things come to those who wait. Now, let's get rid of this structure on the left side. To do that, add edge loops on this area. Press X key, then delete vertices, then delete also vertices below the image. Now, Select the edges around the building. Then extrude it backwards to give it some depth and details. Now, select all the faces on this side. Press U on the keyboard, Q projection. Then reposition the edge loops over the reference image to project the textures. Select all the faces on the other side. Press U on keyboard, Q projection. Then reposition the edge loops over the reference image to project the textures. Now, Press C on the keyboard. Select these faces here. Then reposition the edge loops below. This is to widen the concrete portion on top of the building. Next, work on the left side of the building. Then create some edge loops on the contrasty areas. Select this area here. Press Ctrl M on the keyboard. Then flip it on the X axis to create variation of the building facade. Now, select this wall here and replace this with glass window by repositioning the edge loops above. Go to other side and let's replace it also with the window glass. Now, let's adjust the individual edges and vertices to fit it in the image texture. Select all the faces on the rooftop, press U on the keyboard, Q projection, then reposition the edge loops over the reference image to project your desired textures. Now, with the rooftop face selected, let's extrude the face downward. Select the faces of these pillars, extrude along normals by pressing Alt E key. Let's get rid of that white gap on the edge of the texture. To do that, simply reposition the edge loops on UV map. Once done, we can now add some glass materials on windows. Let's select these window faces. On Shader Editor, go to Material Properties, duplicate the building material, then hit this icon to create an independent copy of the same material. Rename this into Glass. Then let's create a glass texture by adding some material nodes. Let's add a transparent and glass BSDF. Then mix Shader here, Duplicate the mix shader by pressing Shift D. Connect the glass and transparent BSDF to mix shader, then connect mix shader to material output. Now, let's add a Musgrave texture, then bump node. Connect the Musgrave height to bump height, then normal to glass normal. This will create some irregularities on the glass texture. Let's add color ramp. Connect image texture to color ramp, then color to glass roughness. Now, let's assign the glass material. Let's reduce the strength of the glass bump because it's too heavy. Play with the slider of color ramp to adjust the glass roughness. 
Next, select the other windows and assign the glass material. Select all the windows, then extrude it inside. Select this faces on building facade then extrude. Next, use the knife tool to cut this box here. Then extrude. Now, let's get rid of this stretching of textures around the window. To do that, select the stretch textures, press U on the keyboard, cube projection, go to UV editor, reposition the edge loops over the reference image to project your desired textures. Then simply repeat the process on the other stretch textures. If there are some textures which are not aligned, simply select the textures, then realign them by rotating the edge loops on the UV map. Select all the windows on this side then apply the glass material. Then you can change the roughness of the glass by playing with the slider of color ramp. Let's extrude this door inside. Select these windows, extrude them inside. Then fix the stretching of textures. Select this faces here then extrude them inside. Next, let's add a cable wire here. To do that, go to Add, Curve, then Path. Scale it down a bit. On edit mode, simply align the path to the cables on the image texture. Once already aligned, go to object data properties, geometry, then change the value of depth into 0.03. Now, simply extrude the cable on the other areas of the building. Next, select the cable, then let's apply material, convert to mesh, I'm gonna make it like grayish color. Add a noise texture, connect to roughness, add a bump node, connect noise texture to bump height, then normal to normal. Then play with the setting to add some bump textures to cable. Now, let's get rid of these cables on our image texture. To do that, select the face with cable. Then reposition the edge loops on the UV map to your desired textures. Next, let's add a bump to our building in order to enhance the realism of the 3D render. On Shader Editor, select the base model, go to Material Properties, duplicate the building material, then hit this icon to create an independent copy of the same material. Let's rename this into Bump. Duplicate our image texture node, connect to roughness, color ramp, put it in between principled BSDF and duplicate image texture. Add a bump node, connect to bump height, then normal to normal. Select some faces, select the bump material, then hit assign. Adjust the slider of color ramp to reduce the texture wetness. Select all the object by pressing A key. Press C on the keyboard, deselect the windows by pressing shift click, then assign the bump material. Now, just play with the bump strength to change the bump intensity. Go to render mode, change the render engine to cycles, GPU compute. As you can see, we have now a decent 3D render. Next, let's add a bevel modifier. Go to Geometry. 
uncheck the clamp overlap. Then change the value into 0 0.0004. Apply the bevel, then shade smooth. And there you go. This is the end of our first Blender Texture Projection series. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do, because I'm gonna be releasing more soon. So stay tuned and hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you.